morning, everyone. We're here for the Sunday Mindset Session. Luke Moroni here, Search Party Property, Tony Merrith, Tony Merrith Coaching. And we're all about the mindset on a Sunday morning. And this is what we bring to you each and every Sunday. Tony, good morning. Good morning, Luke. How are you, mate? I am fantastic. Back up in Queensland. Some say I'm back home. But, um, you know, really reveling in the uh, sunshine and the weather. It's fantastic. And, uh, you know, we, we'd like to bring a little bit of that great energy, that great thought about, have some awareness about your mindset, especially on that Sunday morning where people often maybe struggle to get out of bed. They're thinking already about the week ahead for them. Some of these issues do come up. Sean, good to have you on and many others that are joining on this Sunday morning. Well, I think it's just simple enough to think about you and I as a little ray of sunshine on a Sunday morning, mate. So uh, we're just oh. going to help. We're going to help set up uh, the week ahead. That's really heartfelt, <laughs> touching the heart, touching the heartstrings, and that's what we really want to talk to everyone about today. It is around your emotions. Are mm. you actually managing your emotions, Tony? Are you able to marry, manage your emotions? Marry or manage? Uh, so, yes, I'd like to think that I am able to manage the emotions. This actually came from a from a client session that I had earlier this week where the person I was with, they were having really high highs. And when you have really high highs from an emotional point of view, it means you're going to have really, really low lows. And so uh, we're going to talk about it in the next uh, little while, but that's where this has come from, about managing. You don't want to have high highs because high, it's, it's like a mirror. If you say this is your equilibrium, if you have massive high highs, it's massive low lows. So we've got to manage those emotions. Is it? Do you think it's difficult for people to manage their emotions? Yes, it is. 100% it's difficult. If it was easy, we'd do it. So this, this whole stuff is difficult. And it's because we've been doing this stuff our life. And again, it comes back to a lot of this comes from our subconscious thought. It comes back from the fact that we're doing stuff on autopilot. Something happens, it triggers me, and I react in a certain way. And I've been doing it for 5, 10, 20, my, maybe my whole life. And so for us to make a change... We have to become aware. Go back to our wonderful formula we talk about, self-awareness plus action. We have to become aware of what we're doing. And so it's one of the things where through conversations with someone like me, and it doesn't have to do with me, but through those conversations, we can start to talk about the fact that are you aware that you're having high highs? And when you have high highs, it's going to also lead to low lows. What if you do have some of those high highs at the moment, uh, like at different times? What if you have... You know, you are quite stable in mind and you're going on and then all of a sudden euphoria hits. You might win the lotto. Um, you might have a brilliant uh, breakthrough. You, something might go viral in terms of social media. You might crack it and you might hit the big stage, Tony. You might uh, be interviewed by Oprah one day. Like what then does that mean to get to that high high? How do you manage that? So from a managing of point, point of view, one of the things is where has the high high come from? So where the concern is and where I see the majority of people, they get a high high based on something that's beyond their control, right? So if Oprah chooses to ring you up and interview you, that's beyond your control, right? So it's about ensuring that your emotions are linked to the things that you can control. We tend to get excited. We win the lotto. We have a high high. But how often do you hear of the people who win the lotto within a short period of time afterwards, they've lost it all, right? And it's because their and emotion, that of course it is. But that emotion is connected to something that's beyond their control, right? So I'm linking how I'm going to feel based on something that's outside of my sphere of, of control. Now, when you get into that space, I'm telling you, you've now entered incredibly dangerous ground or an incredibly dangerous territory because your whole emotional well-being is not reliant on you. It's reliant on other things around you. I guess it's a, about thinking in the terms of if you have that sense of a high high, like a lot of win, but you still remain grounded in that. You still I'll give you an example. Yep. So, 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 um, so from a property point of view, right? So when you sell a property, right? Whilst, yes, it's exciting, it doesn't mean that I don't get excited, but I suppose it's about saying, well, if that's my, if that's my um, equilibrium, if that's my middle, instead of going like, like way up here and going, you know, yeah, yeah, it's, and, you know, it's like, well, yeah, I'm, I'm excited, but I've got to get on with it, right? And the same from a sales environment, right? When you work in a, in a monthly sales environment, it's like, okay, I've achieved my target this month, great, you know, yay me. I've got to get back into it come Monday morning and we've got to go again and we've got to go again and we've got to go again. So I suppose, not I suppose, it's about us managing that. I'm, I'm not saying be robotic and don't 
enjoy the moment, like enjoy the moment, but enjoy, just think about what you're enjoying the moment for. You enjoy the moment based on the fact that you've done a heap of great stuff and you're enjoying the moment, rewarding yourself for the things that you've done, or you're enjoying the moment because of this stuff outside of your control. And what I'm saying is when you do that, right, when you start to do those things with things outside your control, if those things outside your control aren't there, if you get high when they're there, if they're not there, through nothing you've done, they just dry up. And so social media is a good one. We control the number of posts we do. We control what we say in the posts, et cetera. But whether someone chooses to like that post or not, it's not within our control. How many people get excited when there's heaps and heaps of likes on a post? No control whatsoever, right? How do you know what post is going to be a great post versus uh, you know, an average post? You don't know, right? So it's about control the things that you can do but don't link your emotional well-being to, um, to something that's beyond your control. Because if you do a post and no one likes it, what happens? You feel like shit and you have a low low, right? So that's what I'm saying. I'm saying, you know, manage those. Emo- Even with those little things, Tony, and I guess that's where you, you're thinking about the awareness, thinking about staying mm-hmm. grounded, even mm-hmm. where there's a perception of success, a perception, perception of enjoying the event or having that remarkable achievement actually come out but then it's back back in the game back to where you need to be and that i guess that's what you're talking about there we've had sean heath mom's come on um sean says i've, I've missed so much uh, i've i've so missed catching the sunday live so he's back on board which is great to see uh embrace the calm uh, great background there tony yes i've got the white background um we've got to make sure i'm powered up and ready to go on these lives because the uh, battery in the laptop often goes out tony gallagher says good morning guys and sean says i believe one of the biggest problems with winning lotto is most that do don't have a sensible plan of what to do with it and a broke mindset and that's what it's all about it's that broken mindset or not remaining grounded and just wanting to spend 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 um, and and not thinking about the next step or what creating more than what they have. Um, and that's what we, we think about in growth. It's not about just winning the lotto, but what, it, what else can you do with that sense of winnings and that, that sense of success? How do you create more success on, on, on that success? Yeah, and, and look, it's an, it's an example that the majority of us will never experience. But in regards to winning the lotto, what, what, if I did win the lotto, what would I have done to control that? Well, also I did is buy a ticket. Right, the fact that my number came up was beyond my control, and now all of a sudden I've been gifted with all this money. And and you're right, you know, Sean's right. A lot of people just have no, um, you know, no way of dealing with that. Get caught up in the euphoria of, oh my gosh, you know, I'm worked so hard, getting paid twenty dollars an hour. Now I've had a couple of mil uh, drop into the bank account, and and I, I go, you know, spending it like a drunken sailor. And then before I know it, uh, I'm, uh, you know, it's it's all gone. It's all gone. You know, so uh, and again, it's it's the mindset. It is around mindset is what we're it talking is. about today. Yeah. Um, I guess the, the questions and going through the items that we want to talk about today is we've already discussed the whole idea is the high highs and the low lows. What we really want is the audience just to really think about that for themselves. Uh, have you experienced a high highs? Have you experienced a low lows? How are you managing that for yourself? So we have explored that already, high highs, low lows. What, um, Tony, what would you say is of how people can look to manage their emotions? Yep. On so you, so, basis? Yeah, so, so ask yourself, uh, what was it that I did that, that um, brought about that particular outcome, right? So if I get a, a, a sale, so a new customer, for example, what did I do? Now, I didn't, um, yes, I can persuade, yes, I can influence, but the choice for a new customer to sign up to me, no different to your business and no different to any business, right? It relies on customers. That choice is not the choice of the business owner. It's the choice of the customer. So you can do sales calls, do emails, do marketing, you know, have conversations, persuade, influence, but you cannot control that. So my point is don't get emotional about the things that are beyond your control get emotional about the stuff that you've done like if you say you know what i'm going to do 20 sales calls this week and you do 20 sales call pat yourself on the back because that is within my control if you say i'm going to do five facebook lives this week pat yourself on the back now again i'm not suggesting you go and have the high eyes but i'm saying you know, you know what reward yourself like it's important to reward and reward can in a lot of cases quite simply be acknowledgement recognition 
pat yourself on the back, have a coffee, reflect and go, you know what? I said I was going to do five Facebook lives or I said I was going to you know, run uh, 2K for seven days in a row. And I did that. You know, and I feel really, really proud uh, with what I went and did. You know? And so that's, that's the stuff there. It's about remembering control, what you can control, and what have been the great things that you've done that has led to the outcome? The actual decision for a customer to come on board is not yours, but it's all the lead up stuff that you've done. It's kind of like what you're saying. If you run uh, the, the idea of running, and I use running because I'm very involved in it, but mm. running two, two kilometers every day for seven days, it doesn't mm. mean that the seven days following that, you don't do any running. Um, mm. So it is pat yourself on the back feel good about what you've done and what you've achieved, then get to a point where you're actually looking to um, then, then think about what is next, being grounded yeah. about that success and, well, that well, give you, and thinking about what is next. Absolutely. I'll give you the example in weight loss, right? Um, everybody's body is different. Everybody you know, metabolizes things differently. But we, we place so, when people want to go and lose weight, they place so much emphasis on the weight loss that is i need to lose 500 grams or a kilo whatever it might be what about if we flip that around what about if we said you know what this week i'm going to focus on eating x number of calories per day that's within my control what i'm putting in my mouth is within my control i'm going to exercise uh, you know it might be two kilometers a day uh, i might go and do uh, aerobics for half an hour a day whatever it might be or pilates whatever your your, your exercise of choice is they're the things that are within your control. Now, whether your body decides to hang on to fat, let fat go, store water, blah, 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 all this sort of stuff, guess what? That's actually something that is out of your control to a certain extent. But what you can control is the amount of food you consume, the types of food you consume, and you can control the number of uh, activities you do, the intensity of that activity, the frequency of that activity, so on and so forth. They are within your control. Go and get feel good about doing that stuff. And if you go and lose some weight as a result of that, well, hey, that's awesome. Uh, Hayden said, morning, Tony Meredith. Nice here on the sunny coast. He's uh, here and joining the, uh, the fun and the activity. Uh, Hayden, uh, Heath has come on as well. Uh, Sean said, we'd buy, buy, buy a property and set 5% for some fun after everything is in place, which is great work, Sean. Good. Pat myself on the back. He also says on, uh, for, on yesterday's, uh, and then threw my shoulder out. <laughs> Bit of comedy as well, uh, having to do something else in future. So uh, maybe it's just the you know fist pump or something like that, Sean, and you've got to be careful about that. Margo says, good morning, wonderful day to be had. Absolutely, Margo, that's what it is all about. Uh, talking about weight loss, Hayden's actually lost 13 kilos in eight weeks. Oh, that's awesome. Congratulations. Yeah, so, you know, setting a focus, setting... Um, having that you know ultimate focus for what you're doing and that is achievable and then i guess like tony said about what we managing your, your emotions around it the second success you had he could have had five kilos lost in three or four weeks but then and then stopped right and it's the continuation the complete focus on what you are doing which is super important and and something that he's been able to achieve for himself control what you control Manage your emotions in relation to that because tomorrow's another day. There's always something ahead of you. And again, I learned this a long, long time ago being in a sales environment that it's all about you, you finish one month, you either hit your target or you don't, but you guess what happens on Monday? It's a brand new month and you've got to go again and keep going. And so I learned that a long time ago, but also then the control what you can control. Don't, don't have, oh, what I would like people to do this week is start to think about when you get um, uh, ecstatic or have high emotion about something, is it something that you've done or is it something beyond your control? If it's beyond your control, I want you to really challenge yourself on that because you, you are, as I said it earlier, you are entering dangerous territory when you're linking emotion to something that's outside of your control. Absolutely. And finally, Tony, we want to talk about the emotions. Can you actually get in flow? And that's more about that even balance around things rather than the high highs and the low lows. What do you feel about flow? Oh, the flow is absolutely possible. Right? But if someone's got high emotion at the moment, they're not going to change instantaneously. So this is, again, go back to our magic two questions. We say it here most weeks, every day, daily reflection. What went well and what can I do different? And you want, because this is all around self-awareness, the formula for change is change equals self-awareness plus action. I become aware 
Now I choose whether I want to do something about it or not. For a lot of cases, we actually aren't aware. We've been operating in our subconscious for the last 10 or 15 or 20 years doing this particular something. An event will happen, it'll trigger something, and, and, I'll, and, I'll, and I'll react accordingly. And I won't even think about that because that's how I've been operating on my autopilot for such a long time. But when I become aware of that and I elevate that into my conscious, now I have half a chance. I have half a chance because I can still ignore it. I can still be aware of something and go, yeah, couldn't be bothered. Or I can be aware of it and go, you know what? I'm going to take action. So it's all about self-awareness plus action. That's what equals change. But in regards oh, to flow. Yeah. Fl yeah. Sorry, go. And, yeah, and that's course. what it's all about. Stephen says, good morning. Nice place, Tony, um, for the drone. So you maybe you're looking at doing that as well. Um, and I'm just down at Redland Bay. For those who have a few comments on where I am. So I'm just down here at Redland Bay. So my parents live down here. So we've come down. Uh, they're heading away on a bit of a trip. So we're having an early Easter breakfast with them this morning uh, so the whole family and the dogs down here and uh, they're, they're over there and i'm just in a park here at redland bay okay g'day to sunil who's just come on we've been talking today about uh managing your emotions have, you know being aware of the high highs and the low lows um, and how you actually manage your emotions better and how you get in flow just to wrap up everything for for people because we are fully aware that you know family commitment on for today sean hayes has just come on all the property developer people are all here um, because they want to get in more flow they want to be able to manage their emotions because in property development there's a lot of money there's a there's risk involved there's a lot of things going on so it is important to manage your emotions around this and whether it's property development or business or life or you know different things that happen with ourselves we are important to be aware of those emotions um tony what are your final thoughts around this well, we'll give there's a few property developers come on let's give them an example to make them feel part of the family as well and that is that when you go and buy a property and you you're a buyer's agent so when you go and buy a property there's things that you can control and there's things you can't the thing you can't control is whether that vendor decides to accept your offer and sell to you that's what you can't control what you can control are the number of uh, you might send out direct letters the number of agents that you speak to the number of offers that you submit the type of offer that you submit the different conditions that you put in that offer they're all the things that sit within your control but what's not in your control is whether the person sitting across the desk from you or whether that person uh, who's selling the property is actually going to agree to what you've got so it's always important to remember that that control what it is that i can control uh just to wrap it up today hayden actually says flow is the go so a good way to think about that flow with your emotions more of that steady pace and the high highs and the low lows tony enjoy your time with your family and guys, think about your mindset on this Sunday morning and then each and every day throughout the week until we come again back onto the Sunday morning for next week. It's uh, number 90. Well, it's Easter. It's Easter Sunday next week as well. Yes, well, we'll, we'll be back on. Rain, hail, shine. We're uh, here. Doesn't matter what happens in the world, whether it's Christmas Day or Easter Sunday, we're on <laughs> more mindset action. Over and out. Speak to you Bye. soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.